गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम लविका टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ एन सी आर टी फिर फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस सम शेप्स बिकॉज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ चैप्टर वी नो अबाउट सम नॉलेज अबाउट शेप्स फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस स्क्वेर दिस इज स्क्वेर ए बी सी डी in this we have all sides are equal second each angle of square is 90 degree sum of all the angles of square is Equal to three sixty degree. That means AB, BC, CD, and DA. All sides are equal, and this angle, this angle is also ninety degree. This angle is ninety degree. This is also ninety degree. This is also ninety degree, and this is also ninety degree. Ninety plus ninety plus ninety plus ninety is equal to three sixty degree. Now come to rectangle. This is rectangle A B C D. In rectangle, we have two sides equal and two other sides are equal. That means opposite sides of opposite sides of rectangle is equal. Here we have A B is equal to C D and A D is equal to B C. Now. Each angle is ninety degree. Means angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D is equal to ninety degree. And sum of all the angles of rectangle is three sixty degree. That is A, angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to three sixty degree. Now we will discuss triangle. We have many types of triangle. We'll discuss first of all. We'll discuss equilateral triangle. This is equilateral triangle. That is A B C, and each side is equal to A. Yeah, this is equilateral triangle. In this, A B B C and C A all sides are equal. All sides of triangle A B C. Are equal. That means AB is equal to BC is equal to C. Each angle is equal to sixty degree. Angle A, angle B, angle C. Angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C means angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C that is equal to sixty degree. And sum of Sum of all the angles of equilateral triangle is equal to one eighty degree. Now we'll discuss isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, we have base. And these are two sides, side one and side two. This is triangle A B C. In this, A B is base, and A C is equal to B C. That means two sides of isosceles triangles are equal. Two sides of isosceles triangles is. Equal. Now we come to third type that is triangle, scalar triangle. Third is scalar triangle. 
This is a scale and triangle. This is A, this is B and this is C. In this, no side is equal. No side is equal. Means AB is not equal to BC and not equal to AC. Now, we come to topic number second that is area and perimeter. We'll discuss one by one. area and perimeter. We have some formulas. First, we have square. Area of square. Area of square is side into side. This is square. And this is sides. All sides are equal. And the formula is side into side. Or we can say that side square. Now, and what is area? Area is the area inside the ABCD. This is the area. And what is perimeter? Length of, length of the square. This is the length. And this part is a perimeter of the square. Second, perimeter of square. Perimeter of square is what? Sum of all the sides of square is perimeter. That means AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. Or we can say that area of square, perimeter of square is 4 into side. Now, we come to, to another figure that is rectangle. Rectangle. This is rectangle A, B, C and D. In this, we have a formula area of rectangle is L into B. And what is the perimeter? Perimeter, sum of all the sides of rectangle is perimeter. And perimeter of rectangle is, perimeter of rectangle is 2L plus B. And what is perimeter? This is the perimeter A, B, C and D. And what is the area? The area inside the rectangle is area. This is area and this is perimeter. Now, come to triangles. We have equilateral triangle as we discussed. This is A, A and A. This is A, B, C. Area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 side square. This is the formula for this area and perimeter of triangle is three into side. Now we have another triangle that is right angle triangle. right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. In this, one angle is 90 degree, that is B. This is A and this is C. In this, the sum of angle A and angle C is equal to 90 degree. Means angle B is equal to 90 degree and sum of A and C is equal to 90 degree. Here we have area, area of rectangle, area of right angle triangle. Half base into height. This is the formula. And what is perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the sides. 
perimeter of triangle is A plus B plus C. Means this is A, this is B and this is C. Now, we have another triangle that is isosceles triangle. In this, we have two sides equal and other is different. This is base and these two sides are equal. In this, we have, if we have to find area of isosceles triangle. So what we can do? We don't have any formula for isosceles triangle. So, now, what we, we can do? For this, to overcome the problem of iso to overcome the problem of area, to find the isosceles triangle and scalene triangle and any other triangle, we have one solution that is Hiron's formula that we discussed today in this chapter. That is, suppose we have one triangle that is isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal, and one other side that is A, B and C. We have to find area of isosceles triangle A, B, C. Now, area of isosceles triangle A, B, C. We don't have any formula. So, we will discuss Hiron's formula. S equal to A plus B plus C. What is S? This is the formula. What is S? S is side and A is side AB, B is side BC and C is side AC. We can write it like that. AB is equal to 5 means A. BC equal to 2 that is B. AC equal to 5 that is C. Put the value of these in this formula and find the area. This is the formula. Area of triangle is root S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Put the values of A, B, C in this formula and find the area. S equal to 5 plus 5 plus 2 by 2. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 and upon 2. 2 ones are 2 and 2 six are 12. Now, this is side 6. Put the value of side in this formula to find the area of a triangle. 6, 6 minus 5, 6 minus 5 and 6 minus 2. Write 6 as it is. 6 minus 5 is 1, 6 minus 5 is 1, 6 minus 2 is 3. Now, in square root, we have to break these all, all numbers. Six, in, 6 is 2 into 3. 1 is added as it is. 1, 3 ones are 3. Make the pairs. See, there is no any 2. So, we, can, we can't take 2 outside. But, we have 2, 3 over here. So, we can take out 1, 3. Take 3 common and take three, 1 also what is rest 2 is rest in the square root 3 ones are 3 and root 2 this is area of isosceles triangle root 3 over 3 root 2 3 root 2 is our answer thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel Rest of the questions of NCRT we will discuss in next videos.